Let me start with a warm welcome to all of you, young participants in this gathering from all BRICS countries. It is my privilege to talk to you and welcome you to this particular event. As you know, this particular event has been around for five years. It has made a full cycle to all the BRICS countries and come back to India where it had started. I was extremely privileged and honored to have been a part of the first one that was also organized at NIAS, which is the present organizer. I don't have to really emphasize the importance of science and technology cooperation among various countries. Science and technology is global, as we all know, and it is achieved by information going across via the conferences, publications, and exchange of human talents and human resources across boundaries. Science is so very global, it's obvious if you look at any publication today in any field of science and technology. Scientific cooperation is a must, is a necessity, is not an option today. In fact, this is realized by all countries and all countries have therefore established various bilateral and multilateral cooperations between different countries to resource different kinds of talent pools and knowledge base from across the globe. In this global scenario, there's a particular importance of BRICS countries. The BRICS countries, the very fact there's an identity of these five countries together, there's a history to it. There's a need that led to this union of five countries to constitute what is known as BRICS. These five countries share many common aspects, in particular in terms of its demography, its scientific achievements and readiness and technology readiness, as well as economic strengths. And that is the reason the cooperation between BRICS countries become even important. It becomes a cooperation between equals looking for providing help and receiving help to bridge the gaps that an individual country may have in order to go forward and find solutions that would be impossible for an individual country to achieve. As you know, BRICS, for example, constitute the by far the largest part of the young population of the world today. Therefore, as we know, the future belongs to the young people like you, and that's why you are so important. And since BRICS countries constitute the largest part of the youth population, the future of the globe rests in your hand. And that's why I feel so privileged to talk to you directly. And that's the reason why BRICS countries must cooperate with each other profoundly in all aspects of human existence, and in particular in science and technology, because that constitute the most important pillars of the modern civilization and modern human existence. And that brings me to the point, which now becomes obvious, why there must be a dialogue between the young scientists in BRICS countries directly, because you are the future. You have a long time ahead to shape our destiny, where these countries will go to, where the future of the entire globe will be, with many opportunities knocking at our door as huge problems loom large. In fact, as it is known that whenever there are big problems facing us, there are very big challenges and that also translate into tremendous opportunities. And you have to look at those opportunities. The big problems are obvious today. The big problems are also connected with each other. The climate, the environment, the health, all are intimately connected. And are, these are also connected with, a, to a large extent, the energy chain process, the energy conversion, distribution, and utilization. Because at each step of these, and particularly at the generation end, it impacts the environment, which changes the climate, and which has a long-term impact on our health. And these challenges cannot be solved unless the young people step in with their fresh mind, fresh ways of thinking. And if the BRICS young scientists get together, I believe there is nothing that they cannot achieve. And there is, of course, 
one more important component. I have already covered two of the three components that are going to be deliberated upon by all of you during this event, the two being healthcare and energy solutions. These are extremely important. And there's another extremely important pillar of the modern civilization, the cyber physical system. As we all know how dependent we are on this tremendous connectivity that the cyber world has made possible. And this dependency also brings in unique challenges in terms of security and many other aspects. But not only it poses these challenges, but it also opens up opportunities that are we cannot even dream of today. There's a whole new vista of new world waiting for you to explore and bring to the world for the betterment of humanity. I wish you all the very best, all the success, a very enjoyable time through this event and let BRICS countries, young scientists lead the way to solve the problems of the globe. Thank you very much.